This song is called Head to the Heart by United Pursuit. It is in the key of D, but if you watch their YouTube video, you can see they're using a capo on the second fret. And uh, it gives it a, a different flair because they can use a C shape for their voicing. It's actually a D chord, but it's in the voicing of a C. Uh, I'm gonna actually use numerical values for these. So this is the one chord. Um, this is the four chord. This is the five chord. And then this is the minor six. If you're not using a capo, obviously, the chord's gonna look a lot different because you're gonna use the D voicing. The intro, pretty simple, starts with the one chord and goes up to the four, but it's sort of a... Um, it's just landing, it's, it's going up to the four, then it's landing right back down to the one. That's the intro. The verse then drops to into the five, four, and then one. So in this case, with the capo, we're doing a G shape, the F shape, and then to the C shape. I open up to you. Five and four and one. The chorus then is basically the intro with an added line on the end. From the head to the heart, the one to the four, one and four, minor six and four. It's going to be the A minor shape, but like I said, capo brings it up to a B minor. Verse, again, we've already been through that. The chorus is going to happen again. Uh, instrumental is actually the same as the bridge. So the instrumental is kind of an intro to the bridge. The bridge will be more than words, more than good ideas. I found the minor six, the four, and the one. More than words, more than good ideas. I've got some, I've adapted some interesting habits, so don't copy everything I do as far as my form goes, because I can play, I can play an A minor with two fingers. So the very last chorus is actually uh, something totally different. It, it doesn't match the chorus, it doesn't match the verse, it's kind of different. So what I'm going to show you is actually, let's start with the, the bass notes first, so you can kind of see why the chord shapes are the way they are. So there's no shame in looking like a fool When you give you what I can't keep and take a hold of you There's no... And I'll start to add it on there. So it's actually a C shape with the, with the, um, the, the, the fifth of the chord below. So it's on the third fret on the lowest string. There's no shame Minor six Looking like a fool now we're going to go back to the root chord again, which is the C shape, but we're going to put the open E underneath it. When I give you what I can't keep. You hear that? Don't, don't listen to my broken guitar. And then to the four. It's like this ominous climbing effect 